Today we're going to figure out how much buoyancy foam we need for the John boat and how much we want. Keep watching. Okay, I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how this buoyancy foam is going to work. We all know that a gallon of water weighs 8.34 pounds, okay? One cubic foot, if you had a container 12 inches by 12 inches by 12 inches, would hold 7.48 gallons of water. So if you had a, if that was frozen into a block of ice, when you tried to pick it up, it would weigh 62.3832 pounds. But on the same token, if you had that container and it was sealed and you tried to push it under the water, you would have 62.3832 pounds of buoyancy. So it pushing back up. So for every cubic foot of foam that we put in here, we're going to pick up 62.3832 pounds of buoyancy. You got that? You got me so far? Okay. So, with that being said, my compartment looks like this. It's 18, 12, by 14. Well, I just kind of simplified that and made it, took three off the top and put it on the bottom. So, a 14 by 15 by 43. So, that 14 by 15 by 43 is 9,030 cubic inches. So the 12, the 9,030 cubic inches divided by 1,728 cubic inches is how many cubic inches are in a foot. That's going to give us 5.22 cubic feet in this one section. So with the 5.22 cubic feet times my buoyancy of 62.3832 pounds, Per lift, that's going to give me 325 pounds, 0.64 of buoyancy just on one side. And I have one on each side, so times two, that's going to give us 651 pounds of buoyancy on the back. Now let's go back to here and look. Well, I figured my motor, I looked it up, my motor weighs 114 pounds. I'm going to estimate the boat as 400 pounds. I don't know, I'm guessing which give you a total of 514 pounds. Let's figure supplies like a battery and your stuff. That's, we'll figure 50 pounds. And uh, gasoline weighs 6.3 pounds per gallon. So uh, six gallons of gas would be another 37.8 pounds. So a total of 601.8 pounds total. So we will pick up, so our 651 will do it. Well, if you've been following me so far, then you have figured out that that doesn't leave any buoyancy for me. So in the event that the boat flooded, that doesn't help me out. Well, I'm going to look and see if I can't pick up, and let's estimate my weight at uh, 200 pounds. Okay, a little more, but anyhow, 200 pounds. Well, if I even say if I weighed, uh, you know, so I would need probably four fully clothed and everything. I'm going to need four uh, cubic feet of buoyancy just to hold me up. Now, I know that seems like a lot, you know, because, you know, 62, 62, that's 100 and just give it an estimate, four times six is 240 pounds and uh, if you think about that why would it take so much is the reason being why a little life jacket will hold us up is because our bodies are pretty much 80 percent water so if I was 200 pounds which would be nice if I was 200 pounds 80 percent of 200 is going to be uh, 160 
So 160 pounds of this is water. So we don't have to do anything with buoyancy. Water is going to float in water. So then, if 15% of this is fat, well, I probably got a little more on that. Fat, what is, fat is lighter than water, so it floats. So if I was 15% fat of 200 pounds, that would be 30 pounds. So that puts us at 90, uh, 190 pounds. So if I weigh 200 pounds, I only have to have a life jacket that will hold up 10 pounds. That's why you can get these little life jackets at the store that are small and you can put them in there or you can even get these pool toys that will hold you up. Because it only has to hold up a very little bit. So in my case, but see, I want to stay in the boat. So, But if I got out, I only need 10 pounds of buoyancy. If I stay in the boat, I'm going to need a couple hundred pounds of buoyancy. So uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to show you how we're going to do the back here and we'll get started. And I'll show you how I'm going to do the foam. Okay, we're going to take all this out of there, all this crumbled up stuff. Somebody had done this before me and put it in. When I did the buoyancy, or when I uh, welded up on the hull, I put this back. And I, when I seen this was in there, I knew I wanted to change it, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to seal this up along here so my foam don't just run out the bottom and out to the other side. And uh, one thing I did want to mention is when we were calculating out the buoyancy, whatever a cubic foot of that foam weighs, you have to subtract that off of it. I'm using two pound foam. So for every one of those 62 pounds of buoyancy I'm gonna to have to take uh, two pounds off for the cubic foot of foam so for each cubic foot I put in here I'm only actually gonna get um, 60 pounds but now if we were talking salt water I'll get 62 because salt water is more dense and it's uh, 64 pounds so I would still get back to the 62 and most of my stuffs in salt water but I wasn't going to jump back and forth to make it confusing. Boy, that's just out of one side. I have to get a bigger trash can. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill up my containers here with, uh, I'm going to put some equal amounts, because oh, I can't pour out of here. in my container. This part A, or part one, whatever you want to call it. Part B, or part two, and this will make it a lot easier for me to work with. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to, you mix this 50-50, equal amounts of part A, part B. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix a little bit and just kind of dump in there and see how it does. But I want to keep track of how many quarts I use and how many quarts it takes to fill this up. This company here recommended when I talked to them that uh, you use a drill to mix this to make sure you get it good and mixed. 
but I'm just going to mix a little bit for a test to see if it pushes out my containers. So I'm going to put about there's six ounces. Well, actually, it's exactly 200 milliliters. So I'll put this in until it goes up to 400. milliliters okay let's start mixing expanding pretty good and I just wanted to put it against this side where I had blocked that all in and see if it was going to push it out or if I was going to have a mess I'll mix another 12 up and put it in the front here I dumped 24 ounces in this side that's 12 a and 12 B Okay, what I've got in here so far is two quarts of A, two quarts of B. So basically a half a gallon is in here. And it's still rising slow. I'm thinking this and it's kind of hard. I'm going to go ahead and put eight of each ounce more into that. I can get it. Might have to get me a new container. Talk about crazy. Here we go. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, let's see what happens. I added 12 ounces into this side. I was going to go with 8, and I don't know what I was thinking. And I went uh, 12 each. Alrighty, there they are, shaved off even, and it's filled all the way up.